Hi, I'm Wheeler Winston Dixon, James Ryan Professor of Film Studies at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, and I want to speak for a moment about Laurel and Hardy, the original Dumb and Dumber comedians, the motto of whom, according to Stan Laurel, who was the skinny one of the group, was two minds without a single thought. Uh, Laurel was the thin one, Stan Laurel, Oliver Hardy was the heavier set one, the two of them began as silent comedians making slapstick comedies, but it seamlessly transformed into sound. Their best films are all two-reelers, 20 minutes apiece. They had titles like Bratz, in which they play themselves and also themselves as children with oversized sets. Scram, in which they're given one hour to get out of town by a acerbic judge. Tit for Tat, which is about reciprocal destruction. All of these films are just remarkable movies, um, and they made their best films as two-reelers. When they got into feature films, they were longer, so almost like the Three Stooges. It was just too long for them to sustain. 20 minutes was just the perfect length for them. At the time, two-reelers were a standard format, but they were phased out in the late 1930s, and that was sort of the end of their real period of ascendancy. But they made looking even crossing a street look difficult. I mean, opening a door looked difficult. They were continually at a loss for words. In all of their two real shorts, Stan Laurel was really the brains behind the team. Um, he designed many of their gags. He was w the first person to use off-screen space in a sound film. Basically, someone would fall downstairs and you wouldn't see them fall downstairs. You would just basically hear it and then see them at the bottom of the stairs in a heap of destruction. His theory being if you saw the fall, it would be too painful, but if you saw the result, that it would be comic. So basically they would show up on the set every single day and they had total creative freedom on their films. When this was taken away in their later features for 20th Century Fox like A Haunting We Will Go and The Bullfighters, the team pretty much dissolved. But in their early two reel films, which are available on DVD and readily available, they're American treasures, two of the greatest comics the medium ever produced, Laurel and Hardy. I'm Wheeler Winston Dixon and this is Frame by Frame.